today I want to show you how I am designing my suit for my competition. The first thing I did was buy a suit and what I did was I looked up what color I wanted. I really, really, really wanted a icy blue. I reached out to a few companies and asked if they could send me some swatches and I picked the fabric that I liked the best in color. Um, once I came in, I ordered crystals. Where I ordered them from is, I'll show you. I ordered for from Karen Keppings, rhinestones, etc. That's who I got my rhinestones from. And the sizes that I use are 20 SS, and that says one gross. When you buy crystals, they go by gross, and there's 144 rhinestones per gross. Um, I found out that I needed three, three bags of 20 SS and really I just started with two bags of 20 and um, figured once I get done those two bags I'll pretty much have a good idea if I need to reorder so that's why I'm also designing my suit a lot ahead of time the other size I got was 16 SS so they're slightly smaller again they come by the gross and I needed less of these because I'm mainly going to be doing bigger stones on the outside and smaller ones on the inside. So before you even order the rhinestones, you need to kind of come up with a pattern or design that you want to do. So I recommend just Google images, um, bikini competition suits and designs. Look at some of your favorite brands and look at how their suits look. I wanted something very unique. So I, sorry, I wanted something very unique. So I didn't want to make a suit that was exactly like one I saw online. So instead I'm taking a bunch of different ideas, combining them into one. What I also think is helpful if you want to do it yourself, but you're afraid about messing up your suit. If your pattern doesn't look very good or you don't like at the end, just fill in the entire suit with crystals. Okay. Okay. So what you need is I bought a giant styrofoam ball and this one's pretty big but I it was really awkward I was in Michael's and literally like holding them up to my boob thinking like oh is this the size of my boob how big <laughs> do I need to put my bathing suit on so you need the foam foam ball because your bathing suit's going to come on here you need your crystals and your bathing suit of course you need E6000 jewelry and bead this is about 650 at Michael's, it's very strong in smell. It literally says possible cancer on the back. So <laughs> put the cap on it when you're done. Um, you're going to need push pins that have some form of a little head at the top because you're going to use these to push your suit onto the foam ball and keep it in place. I also do recommend um, something below the foam ball, such as... Um, like a cork, like cork or another foam platter. That way you can literally put a pin in and have it sitting there. For me, I'm sitting at a desk and the drawer comes out. Show you. The drawer comes out. So for me, it's really easy. I just sit my foam ball in here and it's, since there's a back on there, it really supports it. So I don't need that, but I do recommend having something to hold the ball because you don't want to have both your hands on it trying to capture it all. Um, online when I first was looking this up, they recommended getting these things. They're like five bucks at Michael's. This is what people at Michael's told me to get. They said they're really good at picking up stones. Take a look. All right, so that being said, what I found is extremely helpful is these Revlon tweezers. Um, I don't know what exact kind they are, but they are very slanted. Look like these, Revlon. They work wonders. They work so much better than these things ever could. Waste of five bucks. So first things first. All right. So first things first, take your sign from ball, take your bathing suit. I'm going to start at the top. See, there's a little separation between the bathing suit and the actual um, crystals. I'm going to put the first push pin right at the top. Make sure it's kind of sitting at the very top of your ball because you want you need the whole bathing suit to fit on to the styrofoam. Push it in. All right. 
Then I'm going to go down to the corner that's off, that's not next to the other boot plate. I know I'm very technical. You want to pull it as tight as you can. You don't want there to be any kind of lapse because think about when it's on your chest, you're not going to have any space either. So pull it as far as you can so it's nice and snug. Get, get your other pin. You don't want to put these onto the fabric of the actual um, breast pad. You want to put it onto the strap because if you're someone like me, I'm going to be putting crystals on all of the breast pad. Okay, so you go over, you can see right here, there's some kind of ruffles. You don't want that. So when I put on my last pin, I'm going to make sure I pull it enough where there is none. And through the strap. Okay, so it ends up looking like this. All right, I didn't realize <laughs> the angle that you were sitting at. So I just kind of want to show you again. Pin, really stretch tight. Second pin, third pin. I start at the, the top first and come over here and then in the middle. I'm sitting it against my desk because this is just the easiest for me. So once you have it set up, you're going to see the E6000. If you didn't read the directions, it tells you to leave the glue on for two minutes before you place them. Um, what I found is uh, definitely you can't put them on right afterwards, but I kind of put glue in a longer, in a bigger surface, and that way I can, by the time I'm done putting it in the surface, I can go back and do the first part. So I'm going to take, this is, what's on here is a 20. And I'm going to take you. Okay. And my first stones actually go right in the beginning. Right here. All right. So I put glue down a decent amount. You don't want it to be real thick. You just want to have enough on the surface. Then you lean your glue up. If you put the E6000 down, it will drip everywhere. So I found that out the hard way. I want to just show you how easy these come up. Okay, compared to the other tweezers. This is hard because I'm holding it at the same time. So let's see. Angle it. Okay, so the very top, you want to be and drop it and then you can kind of push it into place because the glue is not that dry yet that's why i don't wait the whole two minutes Ooh. so i pushed it into place and there's one down okay now i'm just going to do the other one for me i want the first one to be just a straight line down of 20s and i'll show you it once i'm am complete I really want my suit to be symmetrical, as in I want it to look like the other side, so I'm going to be going back and forth looking at my other side, because I do have that one complete, um, and I can show you the end. All right, so two, four, six. So this is six crystals I've put on so far. Okay, so there's the six. Now I'm just going to repeat that. I'm going to do it all the way down. For my design, I'm actually going to have a second line right next to it. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Um, another thing I'm focused on is just really making sure that this side is going to look like my opposite side. So I really am planning what, how I'm placing them. Um, the first two rows, I'm going to have them touching the stone right before that. So the first line down, I made sure all the stones are touching. The next one down, make sure they're all touching. Then you'll see um, in my third one, I'm going to put it between each of the stones, and I'll show you that. Okay, so now I have two strands done. If you notice at the top, I have a space where there could be one in there. At the bottom, there's a space too where there could be one in there. I'm actually leaving them blank on purpose 
because I'm going to wait for the other, um, just going to put the other stones on first and see how my pattern matches up. I can always add stones, but I don't want to put one there and then it kind of look off. And if you get some glue on the crystal itself and it kind of makes it a little cloudy, don't really worry about it while it's wet. The next day I went in and I kind of just used my tweezers and went a little back and forth and it came right off. Same thing with getting a little bit of glue on the suit. Um, of course, if it's a lot of glue, I suggest maybe putting a stone on that location. But if it's just a string of it, there was no real problem. It just came right off and I just very carefully lifted it. I do suggest that you don't try to do your whole suit in one day. Don't try to do one even breast pad in one day. What I would do is I like do half of it or do a couple strings of it and that way the next day you can come in and kind of with your tweezers feel the different stones, see if they're moving. If any of them are moving you need to reapply because of course that would look ridiculous if you're missing stones from a main part the day of the show. Okay, now I figured there's going to be four straight across. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm putting them between each one so between each two so there's two stones there I'm gonna put this one between kind of like I'm forming like a Mickey Mouse don't leave them like Mickey Mouse but I really hope that you found this helpful and that you can do it yourself now that I've showed you um, this was my first time doing it as well and it's kind of just put my mind to it found a design I really really want it the cost was too high to have it made when I sent out some emails. I did like originally say, hey, could you give me a price on just a suit as well uh, as this kind of crystal design? And I set like multiple different images and said like a combination. The prices were like $450, $500, $600. Um, I think one was $650. And that was just too much for me. I couldn't afford that. So the stones I bought... One bag of 20s and one bag of 16 was $20. So I bought two bags of 20s and two bags of 16. So 40 bucks and the suit was 160. So that's $200. It's a lot cheaper than buying it out. And yes, I might need some more stones, but still that would be like 20 more bucks um, because I might need one more bag of 20s, one more bags of 16. So I want to show you the finished side. I'm not going to show you my whole suit finished together. So it's a little bit of a mystery, even though you could just take a screenshot of the one side and do a mirror image of the other. So this is how it turns out. turned out, and I like it. So even if you don't, I like it. So, see it? I really like it. I'm happy with how it turned out. Let me give you another look. Make sure you actually saw it. So, I really like how it turned out. It's really shiny and blingy. Reminds me of um, like snow falling in the icy background. And as my husband, my anthem has been let it go because there's so many things in there that I'm actually like, okay, I like this all. The whole part, I don't care what they're going to say. Um, that part sticks out to me and everything just because I'm doing what I want and how I'm being who I want and I guess honestly that's new to me. So as corny as it sounds, <laughs> that was my inspiration and I kind of kept it to myself but now I'm sharing.